here. I know, I really don't really do much just sitting and talking in front of the camera. I know, what's a camera, right? But, well, 2017 has just wrapped up. And I know I've been st um, streaming and YouTubing for a while. And just lately I've been doing some real life stuff outside of gaming, which has been a bit interesting. I know some of you all will find this a bit bizarre but hey you know what YouTube has some of everything on here so I decided to be a little more myself with you guys change the channel up for reflect more of me other than just being a idiot who fails and it's entertaining behind the games and stuff so yeah I love my screw-ups anyway well for one, it's hot in this suit. So, yeah, I don't know how long I can do this. Point thing, uh, it's in the year. What you're about to see on this video, so I decided to ask from you guys on Twitter. Ask me anything you want, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And I would pretty much answer it in a video. So, without further ado, let's get started before my stupid camera decides to do what it wants to do. First question from Dan from KD Studios. Good long time friend of mine. Good long time friend. The one for him, I wouldn't even have my channel before I started this whole furry adventure. Anyway. First question, why you no know, tell us about furry thingy? Answer is, well, I know in a lot of media, it shows furries to really not be so, I don't know how to put it, like appealing to the public eye, I guess. And a lot of people are really negative judging about it don't understand it or watch that horrible CSI episode that pretty much um, puts us all to be crazy sex hungry weirdos I mean don't get me wrong it was an entertaining episode but it is oh god it is not factual you watch that episode then go to a real furry meet and then you're like oh Let's take everything I learned about furries and throw it in the garbage. So, I guess I could say I didn't want my older friends misjudging me for something I like. I mean, I pretty much grew up with people misjudging me, so, yeah. I mean, it's like, hey, let's talk about this game. Hey, let's talk about this game. Oh, let's talk about this animal. Don't this animal look cool? Yeah. <laughs> Next question by Alan Gray Muzzle. He says, What do you see 2018 holding for you fandom wise? Well, I hope 2018 for the furry fandom, I hope to get to know a lot more furries. I hope to meet furries from all over, which I did get to meet a ton this year. Within the six months that I decided to be public about being a furry and because of my friend who decided to finally drag me to a furry meet, I know, I could be so stubborn sometimes. Eh, I hope to get to more, know more. I hope to work on my second suit, which that's a whole nother story. I hope to finish this suit. Next question. Bye. Oxide Fox Tell us about your first time first suiting in public and what your thoughts about it before and after Well, to be honest, I was terrified <laughs> When I first got this suit, which this suit is made by Fritz the Goat Best goat ever. I was like, oh my god uh, Everything is like so weird inside the suit 
And no one told me about the deaf perception. There is no deaf perception. Right now I'm staring at this camera and it looks like it's right in front of my face, but it's like two, four feet away. Oh, joy. And I was a little worried about how people would look at me and see me in this. Pretty much, you can see outside of how people are looking at you, but nobody can see your expressions through this mask, through this suit, you know. No one can see how nervous I was. And honestly, that kind of helped. It's like there's a smile on my suit 24-7. Inside, I wasn't sure, but the more I wore it, the more I started to smile on the inside. I enjoyed this. Now, I'll suit anywhere, anytime. And it seems like the kids love it. A lot of adults love it. Hey, next question by Laszlo. What's 9 plus 10? What's 9 plus 10? I mean, like, you stupid. You, 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 you stupid. Next question. Vince the Wolf. Tell us a little bit about your cars. Gearhead Furs Unite. Okay, as you see, I have a racing outfit on. Lance the Puppy is, well... The part of me that used to race, do automotive things, well, that's where Lance the puppy here kinda, kinda got his little backstory. Even though personally I kinda stepped away from a lot of the automotive scene, Lance the puppy, he's still there. So, my cars are kinda interesting things. I have a 2007 Saturn Sky Red Line. I have a 1978 Datsun 280Z stick shift, straight six. Right now it's a paperweight, but it's the best paperweight ever. Yeah, I hope to get back to that next year. When I do a 2018 video and it still says that car is not running, please remind me that I promised it was gonna be why am I making this promise? Anyway, next vehicle. Yeah, I got a Dodge Dakota crew cab truck. It's, it needs love. It needs lots of love. And pretty much, I'm going to throw up pictures. Pretty much. There. There. Uh, there, I guess. So now you can see him. There you go. Next question is Later Blue. He asked, Why did you join the furry fandom? In terms of joining the fandom, in terms of being public, because I've pretty much been a furry for years to myself. In terms of being public, it's something I always kind of wanted to do, something I always wanted to share, but never knew how. Never knew how to find people, never knew how to interact. Bad enough of my own social anxieties. And a very close friend of mine I've known for years decided to find out for their self, and I didn't even know they was a furry. So they kept talking about it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm into that too. Just, yeah. And they're like, why you never mention it? I don't know, why you never mention it? So, point blank, without me rambling, they introduced me. They kept nagging me. You gonna come with me to this meet? I said, yeah, I will. And it never happened. Finally, I personally got the courage to actually let them know I'm serious. Next time you go, I wanna go with you. I'll even pay for gas. And, well, the rest is history. I met some really awesome furs. And to this day, I feel like almost like family to me. Next question by Lilac Shepsky. He asks, How has your experience in the fandom positively impacted your life? That's question number one from him. And, oh God, it, I'll put it like this. 
I woke up one morning after being around the, the fandom for a month or two after receiving Lance here. My mom said to me, are you okay? And I said, what do you mean? And she was like, you don't seem yourself. I said, what do you mean? Like normally you wake up looking mean and grumpy, like you want to hate the world. Now, you pretty much are smiling a lot. You seem brighter, cheerier. And I'm like, oh, huh. Maybe I am. I don't know. I am having a lot of fun being a furry. God, I... I actually go out and do things now more than just video games. And heck, it's even fun gaming with the camera. You know, doing a live stream. Brings more to it. If I'm breathing heavy, it's because this suit is hot. <laughs> And I'm in a closed in room. Save me. <laughs> and the next question. Will you sell off your other cars and start new projects? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I may be letting the truck go. I might let the truck go. But the rest, no. <laughs> uh, basically because, one, I, I did want to do other automotive projects. But for now, I would like to split my recreational finances towards furry activities and fursuits and small more manageable and reasonable automotive modifications to my vehicles so yeah but still have to save for the future you got to be an responsible got to be a responsible furry next part is Lilap Shevsky is the best Shevsky. <laughs> Next is by Big Blue and she asked what other more videos you plan with making onto your YouTube? Well I kind of do want to start doing some comedy stuff just because why not you know now, there is a series I want to do, a small playlist, and it does involve my cars. I want to do a furry automotive tutorials, how to change a light bulb as a furry, how to do brakes as a furry, why am I even touching this car as a furry or something, <laughs> something crazy like that, I don't know. Eclipse Arc, ass. Have you been to any cons in 2017? Yes, 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 oh dear God, yes. Midwest Fur Fest 2017. My first convention ever, my first big furry thing ever. Oh my God, I only made it for two out of the four days, but that was the best two days. Oh my God. Yeah, Spaz. Next question, are you going to any in 2018? I hope to have enough money to get a hotel room and use that as my vacation. And vacation those four days at Midwest Fur Fest 2018. Any other conventions would be if I was lucky enough to be able to afford it. So, yeah. Uh, and I think that answered the third question, which was which ones. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eclipse has a lot of questions. How did you come up with your Sona? Lance was technically an adopted fursona. For those of you who don't know what fursona is, it's basically like persona, but fursona because fur. 
you get you get the idea. Anyway, Lance came from some of my older art that I used to draw, some of my uh, cartoon characters I used to create back when I was younger. Um, and well, between me trying to find who Lance was and this and that, basically my friends in the Lilacs Fur Family group kind of helped me kind of create Lance. Kind of helped me see that I can kind of make Lance a little bit a part of what I used to be or how to put it, what I kind of still, it's hard to say, but anyway, Lance is kind of me, me is kind of Lance. Um, tablet, please flip back. How many do you have and what are their names in terms of personas? Uh, we really got to go through this. This is full of my characters I used to draw ages ago. Full of them. I think it's almost, almost 60 personas in here throughout the years. Some of these date back to 1989 and 1991. But most of these, most are between 97 and 1998. Next, uh, their names, Lance the Puppy, uh, Keisha Wolf actually is going to be a persona, the Keisha Wolf name, the Keisha Wolf Dire Wolf, and I'll insert reference picture there, I know, I'm telling myself directions, sue me, I never did this talking thing in front of a camera before, anyway, then there's going to be Lisa Lazak, no art yet. Um, then I want to do a protogen. I really want to do a protogen persona. Um, other than that, I've decided I'm only going to take from my characters and adopts and this and that. I'm only going to work with six personas. Because this is going to get expensive. And you thought cars were expensive. Next. From Eclipse. Uh, of the short time you've been in the fandom. What have been your experiences compared to the stereotypes that you heard? I know I mentioned that a little earlier. My bad. Um, I know, jumping around. Well, people be saying, oh, furries. They're like, the, they're sex crazed, you know, weirdos in animal costumes. You see them on them crazy shows. All they do is... Dress up as animals and boink each other. Uh, that is not the case, people. A lot of furries just... They either have their personas or... Or they like to draw and just have characters. And they just want to bring them to life. Or some people just want to dress up as an animal. And just have fun. Sometimes this is... Stress relief. Sometimes this is just getting away from things. Sometimes this is just pure fun. For people. Sometimes... I don't know, it's literally like a regular hobby like everything else. Just, I guess we just don't look normal. Well, who wants to be normal? Normal is overrated. Anybody could be normal. Anybody could look normal. People who are different stand out. Do what you want to do. Stand out if you want to. Be what you want to be. Because at the end... All we're going to be sitting there thinking is, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. This is one more thing I can actually say, hey, I did it, you know. Next question before I ramble on. By Perp. Good sir, Perp. Where did the inspiration for your sauna come from? I mentioned that earlier. I'm sorry. I like probably completely screwed up your question. So, but, basically, Lance the Puppy, race car driving, fast driving, cool puppy. Uh, <laughs> I know I answered it earlier, but I'm still trying to still give your question a good answer. Next, um, Mia Latelli. 
How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if it was an anthro? believe a lot more because you'll be bigger and stronger and be he be the best chuck to chuck the wood insert pun there the Duke of Rossum outside of the furry fandom and working on cars what other interests do you have I like collecting and building Gundam model kits um I do like fishing um well, you already know, I'm, I love video games. I have all the major systems. Uh, I like to sew. Um, I like to draw. I'm saying too many ums. That's a no-no. I also have a very cool and interesting sword collection that I kind of started. I don't know if you can see. Um, a lot of stuff that I'm into. It's just difficult to name everything, you know? Especially in a short term. I like board games, too. I like board games. And car some card games. Oh, God, I used to play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry, I am getting sidetracked. Misa Husky. Oh, God, really? Really? <laughs> that name, yo. Uh, <laughs> uh, when did you join the furry phantom and how does your love for cars tie into the furry phantom well I already answered part of that earlier but how did the cars tie in well I want to do photo shoots with them with my fursuit and the cars I have I want other furries to join in I would like it to be a really fun experience you know and things like that make some videos first suiting car stuff just mix it all together just mix everything I like and put it all together because I could do that and why not and I ain't heard nobody Maru asks what's your favorite animal uh, dog canine species wolf um yeah I mean I guess that's a given but yeah, pretty much, um, dogs more preferably than wolves. I know, strange, right? Um, but I like the canine species. Oh boy, here's another lot of bunch of them. Guess what, there's more questions than this. Did I skip any? No. Holy crap, I'm actually getting through this. We're almost done, people. Oh, God. Jupiter asked. Oh, boy. It's a lot of questions. What's your favorite GTA game? As you see from my videos, Grand Theft Auto Online. The online part of Grand Theft Auto 5 is my favorite. I love a game where I can make my own character and pretty much do what I want. What's your favorite drawing style to commission? I really only commission in terms of actual art art. Um, two pieces really. Um, one's a realistic style and the other one's kind of like a hybrid between cartoony and realistic. Um, Lance is a more cartoony look. Keisha Wolf will be a more realistic look. Uh, Lisa Lazak, I might... That, you know, that's a good question. I'm not exactly sure how she should look. She, she would probably look more cartoony. I kind of like both styles of realistic and cartoony styles of art. That is actually a good question. Um, okay, I think I answered all this. What's your favorite animal? I answered that. Uh, canine species. Uh, do you have any pets? Yes. I have a dog that is a German Shepherd mix named Lisa. I have a cat. I have no idea what he is. He, he, he showed up at my door and he wouldn't leave. His name is Leon. 
if you could get a suit from any maker at all, who would it be by? That is a good question. Keisha Wolf, I would prefer to be made by Clockwork Studios, but I've been looking at others. Uh, Creatures and Creation, uh, I know the owner, he's really nice, really awesome fur. I'm also considering them for Acacia Wolf, but if not, I'm definitely considering Creatures and Creation for the Lisa Lazak suit. So, definitely Creatures and Creation, they're based in Indiana. Um, I might, I may be definitely checking them out. Um, now, right now, Acacia Wolf, which I already have, is paws and tail. These are from Clockworks. So, very, very realistic looking. Very realistic. Oh. Uh, and. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ina Kuhn asked, Will you date me? Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but his, his serious question is, who is your biggest inspiration in furry fandom? God, uh, I don't know. That, now that is actually a perplexing question. I really, I, I mean, Nas Hyena is awesome. And I got to meet him this year at Midwest Fur Fest. That was amazing. Um, I got to meet T-Lark. That was amazing too. Um, let's see. They're just so, I, I really like the, I really like the furs that are the YouTube furs. Just their content, their content inspires me. It's like, man, I want to do cool stuff like this. I mean, every morning before work, I sit and I watch a lot of, a lot of the furry YouTubers. And it's enjoyable. So, well, that wraps up all the questions. That was a lot more questions than I thought I was going to receive. I want to thank all of you all for that. So... Well, now in the video, it is time for the highlights of this year. Mostly furry stuff, um, but I did have a lot of awesome gaming moments too. I'm about to put that in there as well. So, I want to say, before I show you the insanity, that is my gaming style and all the random things that I did furry, I want to say thanks guys thanks thank you subscribers for sticking around when the channel went furry I know a few of you are bell ship and that's fine you're entitled to that it's cool you know but if you stuck around for this ride I want to say thanks a lot it means a lot and for the furries of the LFF Lilac Fur Family you guys are amazing, and I want to say thank you to every one of you all. But because I don't have an hour to sit and name names, this will have to do. <laughs> and I want to say it is awesome meeting everyone that I have met in the furry fandom, in the furry community, especially in the Illinois furry community. You guys are amazing. I enjoy the walks. When we walk around downtown in suit, I enjoy talking with you all and just hanging out at the fur meets. So, it's been an amazing experience and it's been an amazing um, 